friends, and welcome to another edition of Michelle's Preschool Video Classroom. Today we're going to read Henry's Wild Morning by Margaret Breeze. Henry was the smallest kitten in the litter, and the only one with stripes. His big brother Joseph and his sisters Dizzy and Tizzy sometimes teased him because he was so little. As they all grew larger, the basket became crowded, and Henry was always the one who got squished. But he didn't mind. He was a very cheerful kitten. One morning, he woke up feeling very big and wild. He nipped his brother's tail. I'm a tiger, he said, a big, fierce tiger. You can't be a tiger. You've got no stripes. Don't show off, said Joseph, chewing on Henry's ear. But Henry pranced into the kitchen and ate his breakfast in a very tigerish sort of way. Then he jumped onto the kitchen table. Someone had unpacked a shopping basket there, and he found several tins and boxes and a big ball of string. He patted the string and it moved. Oh, said Henry, I am a tiger, and tigers fight things. Henry's very brave, isn't he? Very silly. He had a very exciting fight with a ball of string until he knocked over two of the tins. They rolled off the table and across the floor. Crash, rumble, rumble, bump. Uh-oh. Henry was so scared that he rushed out into the garden. Jasper, the dog next door, pushed his nose through the fence. Good morning, little Henry, he said. What are you so scared of? I'm not scared, hissed the kitten. I am not a little Henry. I am a big fierce, prowling tiger. Oh, is he really a tiger or just a kitten? Tiger stripes. He arched his back as at Jasper as he walked off under some bushes in a prowling sort of way, and from there he could see two sparrows pecking on the grass. He pounced at them, but the sparrows flew up into, onto the lowest branch of the tree. They perched there chirping. You can't catch us, cheeped one of them. You're only a kitten cheeked the other. No, I'm not, said Henry. I am a big, fierce hunting tiger. He started to scramble up the tree. The sparrows flew up to another branch, and Henry climbed after them, feeling big and brave. He had never been so high before. He had nearly reached the sparrows when they flew almost to the top of the tree. They flitted their wings and chirped at him noisily. He can't climb this high, you're too small. No, I'm not, said Henry. I am a big, fierce tiger. He went on climbing, but when he was very close, the sparrows cheeked at him and flew down onto the grass again. Uh-oh. How's Henry going to get down? He doesn't fly like the sparrows. Henry looked down at them. Suddenly, he saw that the ground was very, very, very far away, and his branch was thin and very wobbly, and he forgot all about being a tiger. Oh, I wonder how Henry feels. Hmm, you think scared? Let's find out. Help, help, he mewed. I'm stuck in the tree. I'm slipping. Oh, help. His mother heard him and ran to the bottom of the tree. You silly little kitten, she said. Now listen, it's hard to climb down backwards. You must turn around. Can't, wailed Henry. Can't. I wonder how he's feeling now. It looks scary. Joseph, Dizzy, and Tizzy came to see what was happening. Ooh, squeaked his sisters. Look where you are. You are brave, Henry. That made him feel better, but he still couldn't turn around. It's easy, said Joseph, who had never climbed so high. Move your left front paw to the left and your back right paw to the right. Henry nervously moved one paw, then he stopped to think which was his right paw and which was his left. Hmm. He could never remember. And don't look down, warned his mother. Henry, don't look down. But she was too late. Henry had already looked down, and it made him feel quite dizzy. He was still confused about his paws. Mm. Do you know your left hand from your right hand? Let's see if Henry can figure it out. Swish, rustle, crack, plop. He had lost his balance and came falling through the branches in a shower of leaves and twigs. Uh -oh. Poor Henry. 
what's going to happen. The others rushed to see if he was hurt, but Henry scrambled up and shook himself. I think he's going to be okay. Did you see he's great? I climbed really high, higher than Joseph has, didn't I? I am a big, fierce tiger. He was so excited that he tried to scramble up the tree again. Uh oh. Should he go on the tree again? I don't know. But his mama grabbed him firmly, firmly by the scruff of his neck. You're not a big, fierce tiger, she said, shaking him. Gently, you are going straight into the basket, young man. Uh oh. It's like Mama decided and said, no. Henry was quite glad to snuggle down. Being a tiger was very tiring. But I did climb high, didn't I? He said to his mother. Yes, you did, dear. Said his mother very kindly. But she's giving him a bath. But he takes it now. But Henry didn't hear her. He was fast asleep. And in his dream, he was the biggest fiercest tiger in the whole jungle. That was a good story, wasn't it, friends? Sometimes we're brave, and sometimes we're scared, and sometimes we're sad. So, I would like you to write down how you feel, and then you can tell me about it. I'd love to hear it. Thanks, and have a good night. Bye-bye.